Alright, look. Starters are shit. Well, I mean, some of them, but, you know. It's, it's whatever. Boom, what's up, gamers? New shirt. Sudden change. Definitely didn't go to bed and wake up to continue this. Fuck yeah. <coughs> Anyways, what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna rank the starters from every gen released up into Sword and Shield, which is when I will stop. Um, <coughs> I think this will be easy. Thing is, though, I know how starters are competitively. I I think. Anyways, so yeah. Let's get right into this video. Oh, before we begin, I tag to do this. Unjust lock it. The glitchy life. Uh, fuck. Calf zero six two nine and night of light. Cause I'm, cause I'm epic. If I tagged you, you gotta make this video too. So yeah, let's get right into this video. Starting off with Kanto. Um, third place for me has to be Bulbasaur. Unfortunately, Bulbasaur is just fucking garbage. All right, Bulbasaur is literally the worst one out of all of them. Sure, he's really fucking tanky, but just get Blastoise. It's a much better option. Venusaur's move pool is horrendous. And his mega does not help. <sighs> yeah, he's just garbage. Um, second has to go to Charmander, mainly because of the um, weaknesses he has. Um, he's f fire type, which <coughs> is a really bad disadvantage when it comes to like the first two gyms um... he just gets bodied pretty much no, I, mean, plus, I mean Charizard's good, it's just he do Charmander doesn't get good until Charizard so, you know so, my first place has to go to Squirtle because he has a better time, I mean Bulbasaur does have a better time with the first and second gyms, but he's just ass. He's garbage. But Squirtle, really good defense, and is a really good tanky mon. You can also go on, um, I'm pretty sure this is set where he goes offensive. When you keep become Blastoise. Uh, Blastoise, he eats the first gym. The second gym is neutral. He's only weak to the third gym, really. And the grass one, but you know, <laughs> and his design is fucking dope. It's just fucking squirrel. It just says turtle. It's blue. It's fucking great. I, I don't know how you can disagree with that. Johto. Third place, Chikorita. I don't even have to say anything more. Second place has to go to Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil is just not that good. In my eyes, Typhlosion's okay, but he's not the greatest, to be honest. His moveset is just the average fire type starter. He sure gets flame thrown, flame wheel, flame charge, but that's it. I mean, come on, dude. Just a giant fucking anteater or some shit. I don't know what he is. His design is cool, but something that's better, that's fucking Totodile. Totodile for me is number one for Joko. Because, uh, it's a fucking crocodile. Dude, that, sh that shit's cool. I uh, well, gator, alligator, whatever. Dial. Okay. The fuck? Totodile. Okay. <coughs> Totodile's evolution line is dope. Um, Croconaw's fucking egg, and that's funny and cool. Uh, just the name is fucking dope as shit. Uh, <coughs> um,. Trelligator's design is just awesome, and the way they used his name because they couldn't fit it is dope too. Trelligator, and his he's just a really good offensive Pokemon. I do like Trelligator. Um, Hoenn, 
to replace his mudkip. Mudkip's not that good. I mean, he's a good tanky mod, but that's besides that. That's it, really. I mean, he doesn't really bring any, anything to the table. I mean, yeah, Swampert's okay, but like. The other two are so much better. I mean, do you like Mudkips? Was funny, but now it's not. Sabo's better. Uh, the second place is Trico. Um, Trico is a good offensive mon. It's just I don't know. He's not as strong as Torchic was. I only see him um, being just speedy attacker. I mean, he has like no defense. So. I mean, you can't, it's like, it's, I don't know, I, I feel like Trico is worse than Torchic, which is the number one for the whole region, being as though Blaziken is fucking broken. Him and his Mega are Ubers because it's ridiculous. Like, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know how you can make a Pokemon that strong and try to, and just, can you fucking start? I don't, I don't understand. Okay, uh, Gen 4. Um, Turtwig is 3. Because, I mean, it's a it's a good defensive mod, but, like... I don't know, man. It's, like, it's not really something that I would use in a battle. It just doesn't speak to me. I mean, Torterra is really tanky and cool looking, but... I don't know, I, I, I don't really see it on the team, like, at all. It's really underused. Because all it, all it has is defense. Um, number two, Piplup. I love Empoleon. Piplup's cute, but, like, Piplup's not that strong. I mean, I, I mean, Empoleon is strong, but, like, Piplup's okay. I feel like Monferno is better, which is why Chimchar is one. Uh, Monferno is, I mean, Infernape is really strong, I'm a fucking retard. Infernape is really strong because he's, like, uh, a firefighting type, what do you know? Uh, <coughs> Infernape is good because, uh, his attack stat is really high, so is his speed. He's the fastest out of all of the Gen 4 starters. I just, I don't, I don't know why, Infernape's just really fucking cool. His design's also dope as shit, but, Gen 5, black and white, you know, uh, I almost forgot his fucking name. Tepig is third because he's fucking ass. I get he's a firefighting type, but Embor's fucking garbage, and I can just. He's fucking trash. He's really trash. He's the worst out of all the new Ember starters. They should be fucking burn. I mean, he can't because he's a fire type. Of Second has to go to Oshawott. <coughs> <coughs> Oshawott's okay. Oh. Duat's cool. Samurott's really good, but it's just like Snivy beats him. <sighs> and for the fact that their stats competitive wise, Snivy has better stats to me. It is I don't know, I feel like Superior is better. Um Superior has really good attack and can be tanky and has more viability than Samurai. I know Samurai's really strong, but Superior is better. Which is why Snivy is rank one for me. Gen 6 Kalos. Uh I'ma have to put Venom in his third because Del Fox is trash. Do I need to say anything else? You're a fire psychic type. You have fucking like eight weaknesses. I don't give a shit. <sighs> Brixton's cool looking. Like, okay. I think that's it. That's all good I have to say about Fennekin. Fuck off. Chessman is second. Chestnut's really good. Like, defensive wise, he can make four great support Pokemon. They're like doubles, but like. 
I have no idea else to say for Chessman. I mean, he is a cool design, but like, broke he's fucking like god tier. Chessman's like ass. I mean, he's not ass ass, not Fennekin ass, but he's. Yeah, I. I, I only picked Chessman once while replaying. Why? Because. I didn't want to pick Fennec and I already picked Froki, so... Plus, Chestnut's fucking cool looking, but, you know, Froki's better in every way. Really good stats with everything. How can you top Greninja? Greninja's fucking lit. Alright. That's why I chose him. Or <laughs> my first playthrough of why. My, like, very first playthrough of why I chose Froki. He fucking carried my team, like, to the side, dude. I don't like getting there, but, you know. Uh, <clears throat> Gen 7. <laughs> Aloha. Aloha, whatever the fuck. Um. <sighs> this is really close. Like, really close, but, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to put Relic as third, being as though. I mean, Grass Ghost is a fucking dope ass type. Really fucking good. But, like, I don't know. It's just Water Fairy stronger, and Cinderor is fucking dope as shit. He's got, like, really good attack. I mean, yeah, they're all good Pokemon, just to me, Relic feels the worst out of the three. Which is, but it, he's worse by a really, really close number. Uh, Pop the O second because uh, Water Fairy, like with Pre Marina, is fucking like. Fairy's just OP. And mix with the water type. And he's a tanky Moonblast Destroyer. Which is why his second button Cinderor is better. Because of his attack. And his design is fucking dope as shit. He's a giant fucking standing tiger. They're great, okay. Uh, his, his Z move is dope as shit. Uh. His darkest layer, that's cool. I, I like him Cinderor, he's fucking fantastic. I also picked him in the f my first run through of Sun and Moon. Second was uh, Rally. I, I, I didn't pick Papio only because I didn't want a fucking fairy type on my team. Um, <clears throat> Sword and Shield. Gallery region. Score Bunny's third. Score Bunny's fucking atrocious. It's the worst design I've ever seen ever started. It looks like a fucking Digimon. Plus, he also looks like he's gonna be a firefighting. I don't want another firefighting. At least Incineroar was fire dark. Okay. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> People said he's gonna be firefighting, but he's fire dark. It's okay. Cool. But I there's I don't I don't really have much to say being as though they literally just got notes like a week ago or some shit. But Score Bunny, I feel like he's gonna be strong, but like his design is fucking awful and I can tell that his evolutions will be awful too. Unless he becomes a fire electric trap soccer player. Uh Grookey second. Um <clears throat> I love his design, cool fucking monkey, but we already have a passage. Where to have a grass monkey? We don't need another one. It's really it. I mean, we could have made him like a fucking. I don't know, ant. I don't know the fucking girl. I would have picked the ant, but. Sobble's number one. Do I have to explain why? He's the cutest fucking thing I've ever seen in my goddamn life. The cutest bitch I've ever seen in my life. I'm sorry, Sobble. Why do you mean play bitch? I love you. You like Sobble's? Yes, you do. The cry he makes over the trailer is adorable as shit. I can tell his evolution to be dope, big so Sobble's design is the best one I've all of him, to be honest. I'm fucking tiny hands. He's just so small. He's different. He's scared out. He's like, Yep, I just ranked every starter gen 1 through 8. Those who I tagged, you better make a fucking video. Or I'm gonna fucking end my life, dude. I will fucking delete myself, dude. I will fucking. I will. I will be non epic. I will be like. The fuck that. Alright, uh. Yes, this is. 
a video I made with purely face cam. Yeah, I hope you like the music. Uh, yeah, um, I don't really have anything else to say, but like, be good, my dear souls. I'll see you next time. Got that out of the way. Now I can just fucking drink my my Brit one. Fuck. God fucking damn.